A warm welcome. This is Electric Energy Generation Utilization and Conservation course, Lecture 1.6, focusing on LED lighting and energy efficient lamps. LED is a light emitting diode. They are the solid light bulbs which are extremely energy efficient, and these are certain. Uh, these are the certain benefits of LED light bulbs uh, when compared to the uh, traditional bulbs which we are using during the present days. So the long LED lights are long lasting. They are durable, cool. They are mercury free, and their efficiency is high. With cost effectiveness and they light for the I mean the remote areas and portable generators could also be lightened using this LED. How to choose an LED lamp? We have to estimate the desired brightness. So we have to read the package to choose what brightness level is desired. For example, a 9 watt LED is equivalent in output to a 45 watt incandescent. The FTC has a mandated uh, that all uh, light bulb packages display the lumens as per the um, primary measures. If you are in need of a three-way bulb, these replace 30, 60 and 75 watt incandescent bulbs will consume 80 percentage of reduced power than an incandescent bulb. The switch three-way LED is also omnidirectional. So it can be used anywhere you would use as an incandescent lamp. Uh, we have to choose between the warm and the cool lighting. New LED bulbs are available in cool white light with this ideal for task lighting and the warm light commonly they are used for ascent and small area lighting. Next is the standard base or the pin base. LEDs are available in several types of pin sockets or the standard screw that is the Edison basis for resist or track lighting. While you are choosing uh, next, you have to choose between the standard and the dimmable bulbs. Some LED bulbs, I mean, uh, when the, when they are used for switch, uh, LED, when they are used for LED innovation and create LED bulbs, uh, they are available as dimmable bulbs and they will work on their standard dimmer switch. And next is we have to choose the high quality bulbs, uh, or they will die prematurely. The quality should be a better one and this quality certifications uh, can be uh, approved. I mean we can focus on the approval of FCC, Energy Star and UL etc. Let us see about the styles of LED bulbs. First is the diffused bulb. They are the cluster of LEDs. They are covered by dimpled lens uh, which light out over a wide area. Normally it is used in lighting for rooms, porches, reading lamps. Uh, hallways uh, low light uh, applications uh, where the light remains on for an extended period dimmable globe led bulbs uh, they are designed for bathroom vanities uh, or anywhere where the globe bulb is required it can produce light equivalent to 40 watts of incandescent bulb it only it consumes only 10 watts of power it is dimmable from 100 percentage to 10 percentage it can have a 200 degree beam angle to cast uh, light in a wide area then the track lighting or the pin base here we have mr16 the leds are ideal for track lighting and they do not contribute to heat the build up in the room and 90 percentage it is more efficient when compared to the incandescent lamps and it lasts 10 times longer than the compact fluorescent lamps the frequency of the changing bulbs is greatly reduced while considering the flood reflector LEDs for resist cans and track lighting, the LEDs they are highly available for stand at standard resist lightings in housings. They range from 7.5 to 17 watts with the beam widths up to par 38, PAR 38. There are several models which are in dimmable and 90 percentage more efficient than incandescent and it can last 10 times longer than the CFLs. While you are considering the flame tip or candle abra base LEDs, they are designed to replace the incandescent candle abra bulbs. These flame tip LEDs deliver the equivalent light of 25 to 35 watt incandescent and they draw only 3.5 watts of electricity. The heat sink is in the base and light doesn't disperse downwards like incandescent candelabra bulb. 
while considering the led tube lights they are designed to replace the fluorescent tube lights led tubes are available in 8 and 16 watts they replace the traditional 25 watt and 40 watt fluorescent tubes so we have t8 t10 t20 fluorescent tubes because fluorescent lights are often installed in high ceilings in commercial size they are additionally i mean there is additional save a uh, savings uh, because the frequency of changing the bulbs is greatly reduced so the led tube lights are really uh, contributing its efficiency towards the replacement of the fluorescent tube lights and while considering the energy efficient lamps first let us see why energy efficiency is needed because nowadays electrical energy is vastly used for the entire 24 hour period even when we are sleeping we are in need of a fan uh, and uh, an a zero volts bulb if needed or with ac so these are the condition which we require that is the electricity is an on state for the whole 24 hours but for certain uh, appliances like a refrigerator they are 100% they are relying on electricity so in such a case electrical energy is in he heavy demand so in this case we should not waste an energy we should not waste that electricity so what we are doing is uh, normally electric lighting burns up 25 percentage of the average home energy budget this will be impacting the cost so the electricity used over the lifetime of the incandescent bulb is calculated and is found to be 5 to 10 times larger than its original purchase price so in that case leds and cfl bulbs have revolutionized the energy efficient lighting uh, what are the benefits of cfl they are very efficient that is they offer a better output they are less expensive they reduce the air and water pollution and they are of high quality and moreover it is a versatile one how to choose an cfl while choosing cfl we have to consider the kelvin base Uh, the CFLs with Kelvin numbers between 2700 to 3000 will give a short, soft, bright light, like incandescence. When we increase the K number, that is from 3500 to 6000, it gives a bright light. So as we go up with the K number scale, the light gets bluish and closer to daylight. For example, when it is approximately 2700 K. that it uh, produces a warm light just it looks like uh, incandescent when it is approximately 5000k it emits a cool white which is a white blue or bright light how to choose the shape of the bulb the cfl lamps are available in varieties of shapes to fit a range of lamps and the lighting fixtures and we have to match the lumens to the incandescent which we are being read next the cfl light bulb how they are being classified spiral lamps triple tube lamps and standard lamps uh, spiral lamps we see these bulbs are designed as a continuous tube in a spiral shape right here the casting quality is better the light casting quality is better in case of triple tube lamps these cfls have more tubing in smaller area which generates even more light in the shorter bulb they pack high light output into a very small space and can be used in fixtures designed for incandescent lamps such as table lamps reading lamps open hanging lamps and bar bulb applications while considering the standard lamps these are the regular cfl spiral lamps and they have a dome cover with the fitted the standard base and the, and this will be fitting into the common alarm sockets actually their appearance looks like traditional but the consumers uh, if they are familiar with the appearance uh, next the glass diffuser provides a quality of the light uh, similar to the soft white type of incandescent lamps let us consider about the next type of globe lamps uh, globe lamps are nothing but uh, they are open hanging lamps or bar bulb lamps uh, where multiple bulbs are being used in order to radi generate the radiant heat uh, and uh, here uh, Uh, the radiation will be generating the heat the cfl globe will reduce this heat build up while saving the energy the glass diffuser provides a soft white light 
in case of flood lighting uh, for recession and track lighting fixtures indoors and outdoors uh, they provide diffused soft white light and generate less heat when compared to the incandescent flood or halogen bulb cfl flood lamps are available in varying sizes and wattages while considering candelabra the screw in torpedo shape and a small base of this bulb is designed for small light fixtures throughout the house from chandeliers to sconces to use a smaller candelabra candelabra based bulb in the regular socket you can use a socket reducer also